Welcome to the Active Image Protector 2018 installation video. The following is a brief overview of installation procedures and available options, and yes, a run through of an actual Active Image Protector installation. Let's begin with the ISO, or what I like to call the install launcher. As you can see, Active Image Protector is not the only product to install. I will briefly describe the other products and resources listed in the install launcher menu. The installers include Active Image Protector, NetJapan's flagship backup and recovery solution, Image Center LE, a free tool for replicating and consolidating base and incremental backup files, V Standby AIP, an instant persistent switchover recovery solution of your AIP backups, and Image Boot, an additional free tool that provides an interim switchover solution that boots AIP backup files as virtual machines. If not installing at this time, then use this tool to create a boot environment to place on a USB device or optical disk. And under Documents, feel free to peruse the README, Release Notes, the EULA, or go straight to the online help. An internet connection is required. Now let's get on with the installation. Start by clicking on Active Image Protector 2018. This screen displays the progress of verifying the installer. Now depending on the speed of your hard drives, the amount of memory, or CPU speed will determine how much time this part of the installer requires. Once verified, the first installer dialog box is displayed with a welcome message. Click Next to continue. This is the end user license agreement. On the right, there is a scroll bar so that you can peruse the EULA. Once you agree with the terms, check the box and click Next to continue. And here's where we input the product key. Type the trial or purchase product key into the box and click Next. If you have copied and pasted the product key, make sure that you haven't included any blank characters or HTML code when pasting in the product key. Check the box if installing a purchase product so that it's activated once the installation is complete. Now let's choose a setup type. There are two choices for setup. A typical setup, recommended for most users by installing the most common program features, or a custom setup for more advanced users to select which features are to be installed. For this demonstration, we'll be performing a custom install. Select Setup Type and click Next. Now we select which components to install. The first, the Active Image Agent goes without saying, but I'll say it anyway. This is the efficient engine that powers the backup and recovery processes. Active Image Mounting. Assign a drive letter to the backup for viewing data, adding and restoring individual files or folders. Add the boot environment builders for both Linux and Windows PE. The Active Image Console. View and configure locally or remotely all aspects of the Active Image Agent's functions. Image Explorer provides a quick and easy file manager-like view of the contents within an Active Image Protector backup file. And finally, selecting Task Tray will add the AIP icon to the tray for quick shortcuts to monitor current tasks, license status, mounted drives, settings, and a convenient launching of the main GUI from the Task Tray. Once you've made your selection, click Next. Go with the default destination folder or change the location by typing it in manually or by browsing. Click Next. Let's start the install. While we watch the progress, you'll notice we highlight a couple of features you may not know that are included in Active Image Protector. Boot Check verifies the bootability of your backup without having to perform a complete restore, and V Standby keeps an updated virtual standby replica on call in your hypervisor, ready to start up at a moment's notice. The installation is now complete. The only thing left to decide is when to reboot. If an immediate reboot would interrupt production or business continuity, click the radio button to manually reboot later. For the purpose of this video, we will reboot now. Thank you for watching.